Okay, first of all, I apologise about the terrible nature of this video. I just don't know how to make a screen recording on a laptop PC yet. Uh, I can do it on my computer at home, but not on this laptop PC. But I wanted to use a laptop PC so that it's as close to what you do at home as possible. So you can see here the example I'm using is for 1G on Teams. And uh, what we're going to do is go to the class notebook for 1G, the class notebook. So I click on that. And as you can see, the names of the class will appear down the left hand side. Okay, so what I have to do is click here. I'm not sure if it's the same on your computer. Uh, that's the one mine. I just click here to show the class notebook. And the names are here. Okay. Now the great thing about this is that if you click on your name, the work is here. Now I've just entitled this, I've just given everyone in this example just uh, one section. I've just called it lockdown work so that you know exactly where the work is. Other classes will have different sections down there. Okay, and there it is, work one. First piece of work, S1 literacy book. And here it's here. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just stop the video for a minute and I'll drag this down. I'll open it up more. Now obviously you'll need to do that so you can see the whole page. Okay, so it's going to be two minutes and I'll get back to that. Okay, so all I had to do there was actually just drag it down and it went to the full page. So hopefully it should be the same for you. Because as I say, this is actually a school a school uh, laptop that I'm using on a PC, so it really should be the same as you. Now, the only thing that's not as good about what I showed some classes to do on Friday, drawing in Word. There's another video how you draw in Word. The only thing I find that's not as good is the draw function. Now, perhaps it's okay on a PC, because on the Mac it's not very good. So you don't have to do anything. Draw appears automatically. It's not like Word where you have to set up draw. And on the video, I show you how to do that. So if I just click on draw, and I click here, okay, use the pen. Right, I'll just choose a black pen. Now once again, I'm going to have to put my phone down and I'm going to attempt to answer this using the draw function to see what it's like. So when you come back, you'll see me hopefully with the right answer, which is of course two. Maths genius, so I am. Okay, the good news is that it is to draw on the document it is so much better than it is on my home computer. So hopefully your computer should be a lot easier to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down. Now just to remind you to come out of the pen, you just have to click on that and that puts you back to the pointer again. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to attempt to write in some musical notes on a question that's down, that's down here. Okay, and see what that's like. Okay, you can see here that it's possibly not as easy to do as on a Word document using the draw function. It's not too bad though. As you can see here, uh, I took a bit of practice. Possibly that's the best attempt I did. That one there, not too big. This one here, I, I try to go like that with the pencil or the pen. I think they call, they, they call it the pen on this particular program. And it became a little bit big, but that's okay. I mean, that's okay. Draw a line of crotches. That's what you're meant to draw. And if you do that, I know that you're doing the right thing. That's not too bad. That's okay. So you can see here how that uh, using the draw function is not too bad. But there's actually another way in which you can answer the questions and I'm going to show you that in a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down. In fact, I might just scroll back. No, I'll scroll down. I'll go down this way and I'll try and find a question that doesn't involve drawing musical notes and show you another way in which you can answer without having to use the pen function. So I'll do that just now. Okay, so you can see in this question it says here that there are so many beats in the bar. What you can actually do is if I go back to here and click on my pointer, I'll try and do this with one hand, I should manage it. And you should be, double click here, 
Yep, that ain't gives you a text box. And all you have to do is enter the correct answer in the text box. So for example, in this particular one, there are four beats in the bar, two two-beat notes. So there's four beats in the bar, four, four. So the answer would be four. So just click, just type in four, click off. Yep, and there you go. Excellent, four beats in the bar. Same with this one. I'm giving you all the answers here, by the way. Yeah. There are three beats in the bar. So rather than try and write in three with a pencil, which is absolutely fine, but it's a little bit cumbersome, double click. Yep, three. There's the answer. Done. Now, the great thing about that is that it automatically saves. So therefore, I can't remember the person who this was. I can't remember the name of the person that I picked. My memory is not very good at my age, I'm afraid. Uh, and that's not a joke. Uh, but the great thing is it automatically saves. So in actual fact, if this person was to go on just now and uh, look at their work, they would say, who's doing my work? It actually appears automatically, and I can actually see you enter in the answers in real time, which is wonderful. Then all I have to do when I'm marking it is either leave a comment. So for example, this one you, you'll get now. The people who did their work on Friday, in this particular class example, I've already marked it. So when you go through your work, the work that you did on Friday will obviously be there, but you'll also see comments from me saying, well done, etc., etc. every so often I can mark it. I could actually choose a red pen look. But this is a little bit cumbersome. I prefer just to make a comment at the end of the page. But you can't actually, through the old teacher thing, get a red pen and give it a tick. Okay, I'll just have to put my phone down a little bit to do this. Right, let me just try that. There you go. Red pen. And I can tick it. And then you can see the correct answers. So this is probably the way. You can see how this works really well. And it's probably the way it will work over, well, depending on how many weeks we're going to be in this lockdown. Uh, hopefully not too long, but you can see how all that works, and that is using Class Notebook. So I look forward to seeing your work, and I will keep you updated. Thank you. And one final video is a couple of things I just noticed after finishing the last set of videos. Uh, first of all, I know I said you could pencil in your answers there in a question like this, although you can do that. Remember, you could now actually just double click and enter the answers like... So, yeah, you've just got to click to get away from that, that return. That return, does that work? No, no, it doesn't work. Give me two seconds, because that might just happen to you. I'll just keep the video running, because that might just happen to you. Because the answer for that was four. Oh, yeah, that has worked. I don't know why it popped down there, but I, I'll just, I just kept that video running there. But you can see there how a text box can work. I think that text box is too big, so you can experiment maybe with uh, pinching it at the side and... And, and, and reducing the size. The actual fact, you might find it's better off just to use the pencil, and that's the final thing I'm going to show you, because I didn't show you this on the last videos, because I didn't know I did it. Uh, one of the reasons why I found it difficult to write in those musical notes because because my line was too big. So if you do that, you can actually choose a smaller line. And you might find that, overall, makes life so much easier. So let's go back to choose the pen with a small line. And let me see if I can do this sort of one-handed. So the answer for this one here is also two. So is it easier just to draw on a two? It's slightly easier yet. Maybe it's easier to draw on a two. That wasn't the best two in the world. But I, I know what you mean, so I'd mark that correct. And you might find that by using the, the, this, the finer line, it's a little easier to draw in the musical notes, like I was telling you in the other video. Possibly. Although possibly, actually, if you want to draw that what's called a note head, you might find that it's actually a thicker line is better. But you can just experiment with that, and that's what you use for your line. You'll get used to it, but remember, it's not going to look perfect. As long as I know what you mean, I'll mark it. And it's certainly a lot easier doing it that way than it is for me to then email you back your answers, etc. Uh, it's a lot easier doing it this way. Okay, final video this time. It definitely is the final video. Thank you.